Out of your league. Meghan went deranged knowing Cambridge's prefers Harry's ex-girlfriend over her. Kate Middleton allegedly reached out to Chelsea Davy for help in planning her trip to Africa. Kate Middleton and Chelsea Davy knew each other through Prince Harry, but there's no indication that they were ever close. In fact, royal author Katie Nichol previously said that Davy is closer to Middleton's younger sister, Pippa Middleton because the two hung out occasionally. However, the Duchess of Cambridge and Davy are reportedly less friendly toward each other. They got off to an inauspicious start when Kate offered to take Chelsea shopping on the King's Road the last time she was in London. When Chelsea, whose sense of style is very different from Kate's, snubbed the invitation, Kate was said to be offended, Nichols said. The royal author also penned an article for Vanity Fair in 2010, where she described Middleton and Davy's relationship as frosty. Kate Middleton, Chelsea Davy still close years after Prince Harry split. However, New Idea, in its February 21 issue, claimed otherwise. In fact, the publication said that not only are Middleton and Davy close, the former also prefers the latter over Meghan Markle. Another thing is that both Harry's grandfather Prince Philip and his brother, William warned him against marrying Meghan. Wills thought the relationship was moving way too quickly. The Duke of Edinburgh reportedly told his second youngest grandson. One steps out with actresses, one doesn't marry them. However, when the Duke of Cambridge spoke to his brother about the relationship, Harry allegedly took it as an insult. This is a stark contrast to the future king's own romantic life. He dated now wife Catherine on and off for eight years before he proposed. Somehow, Philip and William both knew that Meghan would not fit into the royal fold. An unnamed source also claimed that Middleton and Davy were thick as thieves when Prince Harry was still dating the latter. They always attended events together when they were dating William and Harry. As they navigated the choppy waters of royal life, Chelsea and Kate were often seen sticking to each other like glue at parties, preferring to enjoy their own company rather than spending too much time with the society snobs that attended these events. At the time, Kate quietly thought Harry made the biggest mistake of his life in letting her go, the unnamed source said. So, even after Prince Harry and Davy split, Middleton still stayed in touch with the latter. Kate was delighted to see Chelsea at Harry's wedding. And given things were already tense with his bride Meghan Markle, she must have had a tinge of wistfulness about what could have been if he'd married Chelsea, the unnamed source said. The two women are allegedly so close to the point that Davy is helping Prince William and Middleton plan their upcoming trip to Africa. After all, Prince Harry's ex-girlfriend runs a luxury travel service in the country. While planning the couple's trip, Middleton and Davy couldn't allegedly stop talking about Prince Harry. Since it's been years since the exes split, there are allegedly so many things to catch up on. There aren't many people in the world who know Harry as well as Chelsea does and even she's noticed a dramatic change in him since he met Meghan. He no longer seems like the cheeky guy she fell in love with, who was close to his family. She doesn't know this moody man, who moved overseas to make barbed comments about his brother and father in the media. Even though they're long over, Chelsea will always love him and she's concerned about him. Catching up with her old friend Kate to get the real story is long overdue, the unnamed source concluded. In 2011, there was one rare occasion wherein Middleton and Davy stuck to each other like glue. This happened during their first meeting with Queen Elizabeth, according to Express. Prince William and Prince Harry took their partners to meet Her Majesty at the time. But after this encounter, there was no indication that Middleton and Davy hung out ever again.